Hey, Abiding Presence, something special happened today at church. Angel Landry was baptized into Christ. Normally, we like to do baptisms as a part of the worship service surrounded by this community of faith, and in these times of COVID, we weren't able to do that. Angel and her family came in today to be baptized, and the special thing about it is, is that Angel is going to be confirmed this weekend with her peers um, in confirmation. Today, you're going to witness the baptism of Angel Landry, and I encourage you to support her with we do whenever I'm asked. Join us in the Apostles' Creed and follow along in this special, special service. You are the abiding presence of Christ, and together we are seeking God and serving others in new ways. Blessings. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Angel called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to be baptized into Christ? If so, answer, I do called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God. As you come to receive this gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities to live among God's faithful people, to come to the Word of God and the Holy Supper, to learn the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments, to nurture your faith in prayer so that you can learn to trust God, to proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others in the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you promise to continue to live in this Christian faith and life? Family, do you promise to nurture her in her Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit to help her live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? If so, answer, I do. do. And people of God, watching at home, do you promise to support Angel and pray for her in her new life in Christ? If so, answer, we do. We do. Angel, I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? If so, answer, I renounce them. them. Do you renounce the powers of the world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe believe in God the Father Almighty, creator. creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right Right to give our our thanks thanks and praise. praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea, you led your people from Israel, from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raise us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord and the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. All right, Angel, I invite you to tip your head over. Angel Andrew, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God and source of all life, the word of salvation, the spirit of mercy. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. 
Sustain angel with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Amen. Angel, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Angel, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Welcome. Welcome. 